And welcome back to Ozarks Live. Now, I have something on my watch list. I think that you might catch your guys' attention. We've all heard about Chernobyl. You yes. know about Chernobyl. Okay. Yes. All right. HBO has a mini series. So if you look it up, it says season one. That's it. That's, that's the whole deal. It's like six or eight episodes that takes a much deeper look into what took place there. And before we talk about it, let's take a look. What well, the good we did? It doesn't matter. What does matter is that to them, justice was done. See, a just world is a sane world. There was nothing sane about Chernobyl. I'm pleased to report that the situation in Chernobyl is stable. In terms of radiation, I'm told it's the equivalent of a chest X-ray. No. Chernobyl is on fire. And every atom of uranium is like a bullet, penetrating everything in its path. Metal, concrete, flesh. Now, Chernobyl holds over three trillion of these bullets. Some of them will not stop firing for 50,000 years. Tell me how to put it out. You are dealing with something that has never occurred on this planet before. Cut the phone lines. Contain the spread of misinformation. What will happen to our boys? The pain is unimaginable. Three days to three weeks, you're dead. You can see him, and you cannot touch him. Do you understand? What happened on the night of the accident? You're asking the right question, we'll get you the truth. There is no truth. What happened then? What happened after? All of it. Now, Shell, you know how a lot of times in, in trailers, in promotions, they just pick the best parts of a movie. That's not necessarily how right. good the movie is. This one is. Right. It's been on HBO for a while, but it, it, it is a show that you want to just keep watching it until you get to the end. It is just that good of a show. I love it when it's well written and it mm -hmm. has some historical value to it. Yeah. It just makes it much more interesting to watch and to be a part of. And this is like every great, great thrill writer got together to write it. But in truth, it's true. It's a true story. A couple of actors in this drama, some of my favorite, Jared Harris, uh, you know, who among other roles played Professor Moriarty yes. in Sherlock Holmes. He was in Mad Men, also The Crown, and Stellan Skarsgård, Dr. Eric Selvig in several of the Marvel movies. Yes. And Bootstrap Bill in a couple of the Pirates Emily Watson, of the Caribbean. Also in here. Watson, yes. Fabulous. In, Paul in Ritter. Incredible, incredible film. All right. <laughs> 